Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coaster Spot and it is August 15th and we're back at Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois, north of Chicago. And uh, well yesterday there was a shooting right around here. Yesterday night, right or about 10 minutes before close and I was there, got some footage of the craziness and uh, we'll talk about it throughout the video today. But right now, everything seems to be business as usual. There is Gurney police out front, but I believe that is something they do normally. At our Six Flags Park in New Jersey, there's always a uh, the local municipality out there as well. And security seems to be pretty much uh, like it normally is. So in our vlog that's gonna be coming out later than the than, than now, that was from like two weeks ago, we went straight to to Max Force, but I haven't been on a few of the roller coasters that you can get at other Six Flags parks. I've uh, been lower on my priority list, so let's go uh, check them out. So, I again, it feels very like any other day. You wouldn't know anything happened, and uh, I guess we'll start talking about it a little bit now as we walk to uh, Rope Drop, which is right here, apparently. Uh, yeah, it, I got off of the Mardi Gras Hangover, which is their Larson Loop looping flat ride thing and all of a sudden people were shouting shots fired and uh well that's not something you want to hear but nobody was running in the same direction everybody was running each way no one knew where to go and right away my mind is thinking people don't know anything they don't know where this is happening they don't know if it's even in the park and that was my first thought was this happened out in the parking lot and somehow the panic reached inside the park which honestly in that case you know no one should have really left the park right away that people were like sheltering in place inside of like restrooms and stuff like that and uh the last place i want to be is in somewhere where i can't get out of one way in one way out so uh i felt like it was better just to chill out assess the situation and uh walk through the park. I, I didn't have very far to go because the hangover is literally right behind those trees. So uh, I actually went to see if Max Force was still open and it was very much been deserted by everybody. And uh, then I walked out the park and they were making sure we stayed right. As we exited, which I thought was weird, but maybe not so much. But later on, when we com got confirmed that it was in the parking lot, that makes sense. They were keeping us away from uh, the area of the incident. So it was a few people shot, two hospitalized, and uh, it was basically a drive-by shooting, more or less, it, from one car, and it uh, was uh, chaotic. And I, that's what I was most worried about. I was just worried about being trampled or people using that as an excuse just to cause trouble because that happens. I actually hung out in the parking lot, which was probably not the best idea because that's where everything happened. But there was basically a wall of police between the parking lot and the front gate, where is where the situation pretty much happened, I believe. Uh, we don't know all the details and we probably aren't going to get many more. Uh, Six Flags released a statement last night and uh, it's pretty much all that needs to be known. That it was in the parking lot where uh, there is no security. Uh, you can bring uh, weapons into the parking lot. Uh, but once you're in the park, their safety protocols are pretty freaking good. There was an incident earlier this year where people scattered because they thought they heard gunshots but there was never even any gunshots and people actually got more hurt from that than this event it seems because people got trampled and uh you know mass confusion uh causes a lot of problems as well so but i guess that's it so uh hopefully you stick around and check out some of the roller coasters and just see what the day is like after something like terrible like this happened uh, last night, you know, see if it's just business as usual or if, um, you know, employees are, some employees are very traumatized and I feel for that. You don't really, you, you know, you're just here to be a ride operator or an attendant or a food 
person or sanitary or whatever there is. There's so many different jobs here at this park. Uh, you don't expect or think that could happen here. And Gurney's not exactly an unnice place. It's just, you know, it uh, can attract the wrong crowd occasionally. And I think that's all we need to say. Let's just enjoy our day. So it's nice to see that of the three Superman flyers, uh, this one got a paint job and it kept its yellow rails. All the other ones just went all red with the track. I don't usually ride this very often here because I think it's only my third time ever because uh, we have one at my home park in Six Flags Great Adventure that is identical. Although I'll say the trees have grown in very nicely around here, which we do not have. Both are parking lot coasters though, but both removed all the asphalt, which is very nice. And excellent work on the dispatches, Great America. That was very nice. now officially my second favorite of the three Supermans that they built. The original one was at Six Flags Over Georgia a year prior to Six Flags Great Adventure in this park. And uh, it's the best because it was uh, actually built on a hill. It was built for the site, whereas these are on a flat one. But now that all those trees have grown in, I'll, s I'll put in a picture from 2003, the year this opened. And you can see how small and puny these trees were. But uh, being able to fly amongst the treetops in some sections definitely adds a little bit of a thrill to what is a uh, common ride. Well, somewhat common ride at the Six Flags parks. I only built three of them, whereas like Batman and Joker, uh, they built half a dozen or more. So yeah, it was fun. I, I don't need to do it again, but it was fun. And uh, there is a single rider line that I didn't know about. I don't know if it's open today. It seems like it, they are, sometimes they use it, depending if it's busy enough or not. So your mileage may vary on that one. But as far as day goes, starting out pretty good. Uh, let's go to another clone that's at a local park of mine. Uh, the uh, vertical velocity, the, the, the flash vertical velocity. It's been renamed and uh, some signature added. All right, good, it's operating. Uh, Another spoiler to the vlog that will be posted later that happened a while ago. Uh, V2 was closed the two days I was there, so uh, nice to get on it. I haven't been on this one, I don't think, in a, a very long time. Uh, possibly 2013. My last visit to the park prior to this year was uh, 2015, uh, the year after Goliath opened. And uh, yeah, it's a different feeling right now being at a Mardi Gras hangover and uh as i said right there is where i found out something was going on so uh yeah it was interesting so also joker i have zero interest in doing this we were at a park in iowa called adventureland and uh just outside of des moines and uh they have a smaller model it's not as tall it doesn't have as many dips uh, it doesn't like extend out as long, it has like one or less of these humps. But uh, there are magnetic dampeners to control the spinning so it doesn't go too crazy. And uh, Adventureland has them open as much as possible, whereas the Six Flags parks uh, keep them pretty restricted. So you're lucky to get four flips in one ride I got. I got like 11. And that was uh, very nauseating, or not for me, it wasn't nauseating. For some people, I'm sure it was absolute horrendous but for me it was just a blur of awesomeness but uh yeah that's another ride that i have at home at our local park so there's no reason for me to do it i did a week and a half ago or so so that's all that is necessary but i do want to ride the original batman always got to do that when i come to this park it is the first inverted roller coaster ever and uh revolutionary for its time and uh other than the fact that it's like the only b&m inverted roller coaster that doesn't run with the wheel cover so you can see the wheels freely working and stuff uh it is uh pretty smooth i think 
We'll have to find out for ourselves. Uh, where do we get onto vertical velocity? Oh, over there. So we'll have to backtrack to Batman, but Batman has a good capacity of vertical velocity. Obviously, runs on trains because it goes forwards and backwards. So, yeah, and uh, I gotta say, the re-theme of this area, just like, everything was already so DC heavy themed. It's just like, let's just slap a few more logos on it and call it a day, but it still looks like Yankee Harbor. And like, I never even realized how like New England looking it was until they've actually removed or the knee. I gave it two rides because I could. No one was in my row, so I rode the uh, third row twice. My suggestion is ride that ride in the front, towards the front, in the right seat if possible. It gives like a better whip when you enter it into the uh, twisted spike. And I uh, had a little glimpse of the Aquaman boats. They're like orange and teal. They look really good. Uh, they were, they renamed this flume, which there are two flumes. They're like intertwined with each other. But uh, it is, uh, Hasn't opened yet. The other one, Yankee Clipper, or Log Jammer. It was called Yankee Clipper. Now the other one's Log something. Um, has been open. I don't know if it's open anymore. I think it might be done for the season. So, but fun ride, of course. And I do love the paint job. It looks fantastic, which is the same uh, paint job that Discovery Kingdom got in California because they also rethemed it to the Flash, which, I mean, kind of makes sense for this ride. I actually think when the theme makes sense to the ride that... That works. Oh, it also seems like you only launch it every two minutes. So that gives you a theoretical capacity of uh, whatever 30 times 28 is. Uh, so eight, in the 800s or so. Uh, if that is, that means every single train is loaded and, uh, and uh, launched that quickly. So neither are likely. So yeah, that's why you got to ride this one early. Oh, and I forgot to say that... I absolutely love the placement of this ride. Both vertical spikes are right above the water, which I think is absolutely fantastic uh, placement. It's probably my favorite one of these uh, twisted impulse coasters. The best one though is at Valley Fair in Minnesota where the holding brake actually works. This one hasn't worked for a very, very, very long time. All right, let's see how, I love how intact their queue is still. They still have the back wall there. Whereas ours has been gone for a long time. I have no idea if there was always a pineapple for the fountain. They saw their police car, which we haven't had for a very long time as well. And the water works. Fan's not working, but that's okay. Yeah. We never had a video in our queue, so that's always been interesting to me, and they have updated it. Welcome back. When the train stops, unfasten your seatbelt and pull down and push up on your harness. Well, one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, they run their trains on the Yankee Harbor Line, and they look so slow, but a good Batman run, I can't believe it's in its 31st season, and it runs so smooth, like it is like brand new. It is uh, quite impressive, actually. No items may be held. So just to check in on things, I was here a week from last Thursday, and I was expecting it not to be too crazy. And, uh, well, things seem way less busy today. I don't know if that's just because it's way later in the season. You know, school is kind of right around the corner. Uh, but yeah, it definitely feels less crowded today. And uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's because of what happened last night. I mean, a lot of people, that's gonna scare you away. I don't know. I mean, what are the odds of it happening twice in two days? So 
I'm perfectly okay with it going here today. And uh, we're gonna check out the Little Dipper because it's historic. I absolutely love these uh, history signs to it. Unfortunately, yeah, they are like 10 years old, 12 years old now, and it seems like they definitely need to be updated. To is still testing. going to do some flat rides and there are parts of this park that are hidden gems of beauty like this area here i just wish there were more of it in this park like great adventure i feel like looked like this park in new jersey five ten years ago where almost every corner of the park needed a lot of tlc and it really feels like it at this park like there's just a lot of stuff that's like the building maintenance just looks terrible you like rust uh, peeling paint, uh, rotted wood, just little things like that that you just need to take care of. All right, and like entering in the back entrance this morning, like trash all over the entranceway. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I understand people are disgusting and they just throw their crap out of their, their window as they leave, but like first impressions mean a lot, especially with something that happened last night. Impressions are gonna mean a heck of a lot. All right, we took a ride on X-Flight and it was better on the left side than the right side earlier. Like, and I remember that like those vests are like the only ones in the United States that keep cinching down. They do not, they're not on a like a spring that retracts. They just get tighter and tighter. And I remember my trick for that, it just took me two rides to remember that. You want to put your like thumbs basically between the vest and your shoulders and then it will never get too tight. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my suggestion. I love it on the left side because I love like being flipped over the wing over drop because kind of kind of gives you a little bit of a whip as you're going over the top of it instead of going underneath it. If that makes any sense. And uh, yeah, the, the keyhole elements are so good on that. And there's a terrible jolt for the last inversion, and it's not as bad on the left side for whatever reason. On the right side, it hurts. It's like spine crushing jolt. I don't know what the heck it is. It's always been there, so it's nothing new. Very echoey in here, as one would actually guess and then uh i mobiled over at the county fair and actually they were like our pool park isn't ready for another hour and a half so i don't know if that's a normal occurrence or you know things might have happened last night that delayed their food prep uh so i don't know but it kind of sucked because it then got over here and it was like 15 minutes before i got food unfortunately and another thing that kind of sucks today is they're definitely understaffed and uh, they're not running flash pass, so I can't use my free skip the line passes that I'm paying for with the membership, uh, which is a big bummer. Um, I didn't knew that going into X Flight, and then as soon as I got onto X Flight line, I realized that this is the only way I was going to ride it. But we'll do some flat rides and whatnot. When the train stops, they're going to push up extra for the right to the back seat. Have a good rest of your day. I took a ride on the Demon and uh, front seat, and I wasn't bracing myself for the entrance to the corkscrew. And for the first time since I can remember, got really bad jab to my jaw, which I'm sure people all the time on aero rides get, but uh, I typically don't, so uh, that hurt. But uh, had fun anyways. I love all the effects that they fixed. The theme song that's so 70s, 80s, and just like light effects, the tunnel, the smoke, the, the, the demon laughing at you as you uh, enter into the dark tunnel. 
or his mouth. Love it all. It's fantastic. Um, I don't know, we don't got much left to do. That's open. American Eagle, Viper, and Max Force are closed. So I'm doing the tour here and had no idea that there was a Trioka back here and uh, I could have reached out and hand slapped one of those cars if I wanted to. I am shocked at the clearance of this. I doubt this used to be here or maybe it is and it's just got old clearances but that's a little surprising and uh, I might give it a ride. We are going to continue the flat ride tour. Not going to do the bumper cars, but I'm going to do a Condor because Condors are kind of rare and they're super fun. So, it, think about it. It's kind of like a uh, like the triple play at the Trioka. It just goes up higher. So, I would compare those rides to each other, except they're so both of them are kind of rare. So it's just easier to compare them to like Scramblers because kind of the same motion. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever done this one, and this one is from my home park originally. It's part of the Six Flags Ride Rotation, which was a program back in the 80s where Six Flags would take a, par a ride, have it in a park for like two, three years, and then uh, move it somewhere else. Uh, kind of smart, kind of dumb. This depends on the, uh, the installation costs of each individual ride. I'm sure for some rides it worked very well. For some rides, probably not so much. So... This doesn't even look like a permanent model. This looks like a carnival model, but I'm not sure because I'm not first. Yeah, I've never seen one raised up like this with the condors. So this might be a more of a carnival model, which would have made uh, moving this ride around pretty easy. All right. I don't know what else we're doing. I kind of want to do a uh, Mardi Gras hangover and not have the, uh, the uh, surprise at the end that the uh, you know, a shooting happened right as I get off. That was uh, kind of slow and incredibly short. So, uh, better than Marine Land. Check out that vlog. First, we're gonna use this wonderful uh, single rider entrance. It's just up this, like, what looked like to be an emergency exit at one point, or the old exit. It's kind of how ours exit is it's in, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? New Jersey. Go. That was incredibly effective, and that little girl didn't scream once, like unfazed completely. Anyways, yeah, I wish uh, that single rider line was on other rides that I care about because I don't need to do that a second time, unfortunately. But it was good, very good. Most of the effects work, except for the 3D effect that does work in Mexico, which is the weirdest place of all places for it to work. And uh, a lot of the sound effects and lighting that doesn't work at Great Adventure works here. You know, some of the Joker rides in the Six Flags chain have a, a fun house before the ride. Now, you don't need that, but why not just create a cool facade on the side of this storage building so, uh, you know, it's not this ugly gray building. I mean, it seems simple enough to me. classic Schwarzkopf built ride and uh, one of uh, three in the park actually. It's just another place to see. Schwarzkopf was a big manufacturer of amusement rides from Germany in the uh, 70, 60s, 70s, and 80s and uh, its rides are diminishing so it's nice to see that Great America has maintained three of them. All right that, that fiddler's fling is no joke. The uh, centrifugal forces on that one is quite intense man you need to have a uh, strong stomach and uh man being so like i had to hold on so it wasn't like it was it was intense and a pretty long cycle too not yeah like one of the longer cycles in the park thankfully so but like just the right amount so but uh the park definitely doesn't seem as busy and that's about it like no larger security presence been another day. Uh, there's a few rides that are closed, and I wonder if they're closed because I, 
feel like a lot of people might have called in, obviously. I mean, like, for some people it was a pretty traumatic experience yesterday, employee-wise. I guess we're back at X-Flight. I kind of want to do that again. Don't really want to wait for Goliath. Uh, I've had enough on rides on Goliath. It's still kind of underwhelming RMC for me. Kind of low on my list. Uh, but it's still a fantastic ride. Uh, I don't... You know, I sit in the tour, it's the best coaster. For me, I don't know if it's the best coaster here. I mean, I much just rather ride Wizard. I know Wizard isn't the better ride, but it's the ride I enjoy riding more. Uh, probably the ride I enjoy the most at this park, just because it's so special. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a very short line. I waited all the way over there before. So, might as well take it on the ride. If they're killing the dispatches, it shouldn't take too long. And I'm not really hungry for another meal, but I might get another uh, a cheesecake bar. Might get the uh, strawberry or the cherry kind. I got a cherry cheesecake, chocolate, covered in chocolate on a stick. I didn't realize it was cherry cheesecake. I'm actually really excited. I thought it would be like cherry. It looks like they might have cherry chunks in it, but I'm excited. The first one was amazing. X-Flight front seat, or second to the front seat on the left side. The first shop is awesome on the left side. Ride on the left side no matter what. It's so good. So, uh, Viper opened. So that's nice. But Max Force did not. So, I'm gonna go do Raging Bull. Which is nothing unexpected. You just said, which is neither of those things. But, uh, yeah, and then I want to close it out on Wizard and try to get like, two, three rides. So we've got about an hour and change left, but I'm almost out of battery. So uh, we're going to conserve battery so we can get toward the end of the day. Some of them was just like, F these nachos. And I'm like, F that uh, Raging Bull line with uh, terrible dispatch too. So, uh, let's go ride Viper. We'll hit this up tomorrow morning. But uh, I will say, best rides I've ever had on this thing in its 20 years. Uh, really, seriously love it. But uh, more unique rides here that I'd rather ride than uh, Raging Bull, unfortunately. Well, Viper's open, but the queue is all the way back to the entrance. I don't know, I've never waited that long for a uh, Viper, and I never will. So, uh, Demon is open. And, uh, barely a queue, so we'll do that. And, uh, yeah, to the jackass, uh, joking about someone having a gun, probably not the day to do that. Nah, I probably should have said something to the supervisor that walked by. Look at the demon ass. Love him. The demon. The, 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 the demon. The demon. So, yeah, uh, I didn't feel like waiting for that, and that ride's been running terrible on my two rides. It, it's smooth, just hasn't been doing much. I did a couple on Demon, and very enjoyable. Now we're going over to Whizzer, like a five, 15 minute wait, and uh, we'll do this a couple times and then close it out on Ray Temple. But uh, insert some footage from earlier today and let you know how everything went at the end of the day because we're at seven percent
So that was our day. We had a fantastic uh, double ride in Raging Bull in row nine and eight on the right side. I've told, been told the right side is good. But I'm amazed how much better that coaster has gotten. Like, it is ridiculous. It has absolutely catapulted up in my rankings. It used to be bottom one or two of all the BNM hypers. And uh, now it's somewhere in the middle, probably. Better than all the Cedar Fair ones. Uh, so that's at least three spots up. Probably better than a pop. It's, it's amazing. Like, that trim on the third hill that's upwards used to like literally catapult you forward into your lap bar uncomfortably it's never fun and then it killed the momentum of the rest of the ride so i i'm a raging bull fan now which is crazy i'm going to uh definitely ride it a few times tomorrow morning hopefully and uh, you will not see that uh but the rest of the day it was uh business as usual nothing happened anything uh you had to worry about it was all out here so if anything i should be scared right now not the entire rest of the day so and there's nothing they can really do other than if they were to start searching cars, which uh, that's a whole another legal issue that they probably couldn't even do anyways if they wanted to. Um, yeah, so just, uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate what happened yesterday, but uh, hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're here still and you got past all the clickbait stuff, thank you. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you, Gurney Police.